Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to protect a Microsoft Excel application with Quick License Manager. During this tutorial, we will walk through a guide that is provided on our support site. So let's go to the support site. Click on Visit Our Community. Click on Step by Step Guide and locate the article that says Protect an Excel Application with Quick License Manager. We will walk through this guide step by step. Launch QLM, and go to the Define Products tab. For this tutorial, we'll use the Demo 1.0 product. You should use the Demo 1.0 if you're evaluating QLM. Next, go to Protect Your Application tab. This wizard will create some files that you need to add to your Excel application. Click Next. Select the product and the license server. Pick the demo license server if you're evaluating QLM. Select VBA as a language for Microsoft Excel. On this page, you customize the look and feel of the license wizard. The license wizard is a wizard that prompts the user to enter a license key and activate it. We'll keep the default values in this tutorial, but you can brand the wizard as you see fit. Finally, we're going to save our configuration into a folder. Pick any folder of your choice and click Save. Two files are generated. One XML file that contains our customization and a VBA class file that you need to add to your Excel application. If we go to the selected folder, we can see the two files that were generated. Back to the guide, we've completed step 3. In step 4, we need to copy some QLM files that must be deployed with your Excel application. Go to the folder where the QLM files are located. and copy these files to the folder where your Excel application is located. Back to the guide. We've completed Step 4. In Step 5, we need to add some code to the Excel application. We'll create a new Excel application. Call it test. Click Alt F11 on your keyboard to display the VBA editor. Now we need to add some references because the QLM library requires .NET. These are the files that need to be added. Go to Tools. References, then click Browse. Locate the files that we need to add. Add the first file. Add the second file. And then the third file is the QLM license lib.tlb, which is one of the files we copied over earlier. Now that we've added the required references, save the Excel application. When you save the Excel application, make sure to save the file as a macro enabled workbook. Let's go back to the guide. We've completed step 6. In step 7, we need to add some code to the Excel application. Copy the code in step 7 to the clipboard. Then, go to Excel, 
click Alt F11, double click My Workbook, and paste the code. Moving on to step 8, we need to insert a class module to the Excel application. Go back to Excel, right mouse click on the VBA project, and select Insert a Class Module. Call this class License Validator. Then, go to the folder where we generated the LicenseValidator.cls file. Open the file in a text editor, copy its content to the clipboard, then paste its content in the License Validator class. Save the Excel application. We've now completed the integration. Let's test it. Close the Excel application. And reopen it. The first time we open the Excel application, it will stop at the stop statement. This stop statement is there purely for debugging purposes. Make sure you comment this line out before shipping your product. Click F5 to continue running the application. Since this is the first time we are running this Excel application, no license key is found on the system. The license wizard will be automatically launched. To prompt the user for a license key, we'll step through the wizard. Click Next. Select Activate My License Online. Next. We are prompted for an activation key. Let's create a license key from the QLM Management Console. Put the wizard aside. Go to the Manage Keys tab and click Create Activation Key. Select the Demo 1.0 product and click OK. This will create a license key. Let's copy it to the clipboard. Then, go back to the License Wizard, paste the activation key, and click Activate. The License Wizard connects to the License Server and activates the license. Click Finish. The Excel application should now start. We'll run it again a second time, but we'll comment out the stop statement first. Let's close everything and reopen the Excel application. This time around, Excel will just start without prompting the user for a license key because the license has been stored on the end user system. Once you are ready to deploy your application, you need to include with your application all the files located in this folder, except for the LicenseValidator.cls file, which you can delete. This completes the tutorial on how to protect a Microsoft Excel application.